timekeeper real quick. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, algebra, geometry, and more. Math is so vast and there are so many different aspects of it. It'll allow you to make good monetary decisions and can build up your logical thinking abilities. Hi, I'm Lexi Morita and I'm here to tell you why math is the best subject in school. But for real this time. Algebra. The concept might seem a little bit scary to some and I'll admit, about five years ago, I was scared too. I thought that algebra was this looming beast of confusion that I could never possibly understand. But then, when I actually started doing the problems, I learned that, hey, this isn't so bad after all. These algebraic equations that you're seeing on the screen right now have always been my favorite. But maybe that's just because I'm something of a nerd. I learned about them for the first time around three or four years ago and am now reviewing them as I, be as I begin Algebra 2. On the screen, you will see that I have labeled the different parts of your average algebra equation that you might see in a workbook. First up, we have the variable, which is arguably the most important part of an algebraic equation. The variable is basically just the letter that you see in every algebraic equation. I chose to use the letter X in my example here because that's, well, that's the variable that I see most often, but the variable can be any letter. The variable is just basically the unknown value in an equation. Next up, we have the coefficient. The coefficient can be described as just the whole number that you multiply the variable by to get the answer. So in this equation, the coefficient would be the number two. And finally, last but not least, we have the constant, which is, in my opinion, the most easy to understand. The constant is just the number that isn't attached to any variable. And this, in this equation, the constant would be the number six. When it comes time to solve the equation, the constant is the number you would add or subtract from the variable to get the solution. In the equations I'm going to give you later on to practice today, I will give you the answer for the variable, but you'll need to figure out the answer to the equation using the coefficient and the constant. All right, in this example, we'll have x equal the number three. So what do you do in this situation? Well, you would replace x with the number three. Then you would multiply two by three to get six because two is the coefficient. Then you would add six to the constant, which also coincidentally happens to be six in this equation. Six plus six is 12, which gives you the answer to this equation. If you're confused right now, don't worry. You are not alone. I was completely lost as well when I first started algebra, but with practice, I know you'll get it for sure. But now many of you might be wondering, why do we have to do this? Why should we care about algebra? Well, admittedly, that is what I thought as well. I thought algebra was pretty useless. But here's an example of how algebra concepts can be used in the real world. On screen here, you will see an equation that I like to use whenever I'm trying to figure out, say, the price of something that has been discounted at the store. X equals Y percent times Z. In these pictures here, you'll see that these items are priced 25 and 50 percent off. Let us use the top picture as an example. These clothes are 25% off, and Y in this case would be the unknown percentage, which would again be 25. X in this case is the amount you would save, which is, in my opinion, what most people want to know. And then finally, Z in this equation is or would be the original price of the item. You would substitute the known variables to get the unknown in this equation, which is the amount of money you could save, or x. This is extremely useful when shopping, as you can manage your money in a more effective way. Algebraic equations can be used in so many other places, not just when shopping, but as we've seen in this example, algebra can even help you save money. Isn't math kind of amazing? All right, now it's your turn. Try out these problems that I have here on the screen and see if you can solve them. Pull out the paper and pencil that I told you to grab and get ready. 
I'll give you the answers later, so please don't worry if you cannot get them right. For the first problem, x will equal the number 8. So plug 8 into the equation, replacing x. Solve the problem and see what you get. I'll give you about 15 seconds to solve this equation. Remember, in this case, the number 8 is the value for the variable. Nice job. For the second problem, x will equal the number 6. Replace x with 6 in this equation and then see what you get. All right. If you didn't have time to finish, that is completely okay. But here are the answers. Check your work to see if you got the problem right. I know that it might have been hard for some of you because this might be a complicated concept, and I know that 15 seconds isn't a whole lot of time to solve an algebraic equation. But I appreciate that you tried anyway. The answer to problem number one was 32. Why is this? Because if you plug the number 8, which was the variable for the vari which is the value for the variable, then you would have to multiply 3 by 8, because 3 is the coefficient, and then you would get 24. 24 plus 8 equals, yep, that's right, 32. And then for the second equation, the answer was the number 10. And why is that? Well, that's because if you plug 6 into this equation, replacing x, 2 times 6 is 12, solve from there, and you'll get the number 10. I know, I know. Algebra is super complicated, and there are many more facets that I haven't covered today. This might be an introduction for some of you, or a review for others. But thank you for listening, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I also hope that you learned some, possibly learned something new today. Thank you.